Good morning. Interesting topic today as always. A parent's relationship with their adult children. Mmm, touchy topic. Touchy, touchy. Okay, let's break this down. Your child will start individuating, or separating themselves from their parents. Usually when they're like 14, 15, they'll start pushing the envelope a little bit, wanting to be a grown up, wanting to be treated like an adult, which they're not, of course. But you need to start giving them a little rope, you know, give them a little room to express themselves, to be who they are, not who you want them to be, Love your child for who they are, not who you want them to be. And let them start exploring themselves, you know, their likes, their dislikes. That's okay. By the time they're in college, they should be fairly independent, emotionally independent. If they don't want to major in what you want them to major in, that's okay. Let them pick their major. I hear this so often. But everybody in my family is a doctor, a lawyer. We have a family business. They're not interested. Why aren't they following in so-and-so's footsteps? That's not their passion. Let them pursue their interests. Not saying that in 10 years, they're not going to change their mind and join the family business or go into whatever profession. But let them do it their way. Respect your child enough to let them explore. Let them do it their way, not your way. Respect their decisions. If they don't want to live at home, they want to live in the dorms, that's okay. Let them. Yes, they will probably drink a beer. They may get absolutely, totally drunk. That's okay. They will sober up. And in that process, they will learn to probably never do it again because it's a very painful awakening. Let it go. Pick your battles. If you want to nurture a really good, strong relationship with your child, stop judging. Stop judging and let them be who they want to be. Not who you want them to be, who they want to be. Once your child decides they you know, they want to get married, they want to have a relationship, stay out of it. Do not offer your two cents. Do not say, oh my God, I can't believe you're dating them. I can't believe you would want to marry them. That will come, by to, come back to bite you in the ass. Keep opinions to yourself. Now, if you see something dangerous, you see bruises on them, you see that violence has happened, something like that, of course, speak up, protect your child. But as far as opinions let them learn the life lesson the hard way. They may be dating somebody that you love and they break up with them and you're shattered. How could they ever break up with this person? They were perfect for them. Stay out of it. Just let it go. Be supportive. Be there for them. Keep your opinions to yourself. Once you have grandbabies, oh honey, that's when the problems can start. That child your beautiful grandchild is their child, not yours. I want you to learn, and it's a painful experience, to respect their boundaries. If they say no, the answer is no. If you offer to babysit and they say, no, we have a sitter, but thank you, let it go. Don't let it hurt your feelings. Let them raise their child the way they want to raise their child. Think about it. When you were raising your kids, you wanted to do it your way. Maybe you were you felt forced to give in to your parents. Well, if that's the case, I'm sorry. Let your child raise their kids, their family, the way they want to. Be there. Be supportive. Keep your opinions to yourself. Let them do it their way. Do not over-involve yourself in the life of your child or the grandkids. When your, your kid's in high school, that's a fun age. Don't over, overstep the boundaries and put yourself in the, you know, whatever they're doing. If they're going to go bowling, don't say, oh, I want to go. You may really, really want to go, but don't do it. Go another time. Go someplace else. Let them have their life. 
when they have children of their own, let them do it their way. If they have an event, they're having a company picnic, and you really would like to go because, you know, there's going to be a sack race or whatever, and you want to see the baby in it. No. Boundaries. Let them do it their way. Holidays. You may have your heart set on having them every holiday because in your family, you've always had them at the holidays. Now they're married or in a relationship and maybe there's kids. You have to share. I'm sorry. You have to share. If they want to spend, I'm using this as, a, as an example, Thanksgiving with the significant other's family, great. You can do dessert later. You can do Thanksgiving the night after, the day before. I don't care. Compromise. Do not be a right fighter. Don't throw a tantrum. It looks awful. You're going to come out losing because eventually someday your grandchild is going to hear the stories of all of this and how you behaved, and they're just going to step back and say, I don't think so. Pick your battles. Be mature. Be a grown-up. Do not take over your grandchild's life. Grandchildren are wonderful. I'm a grandma. I have a beautiful, brilliant, of course, granddaughter who I adore, but I know my place. And I, there is no way on God's green earth I would ever bulldoze the decisions and boundaries of my son and my daughter-in-law. That is so disrespectful. Don't do it. That is awful. Don't do it. If you're babysitting, you have the kids for the weekend and you're really excited and they say, okay, they can't watch this show and this show. This is the bedtime. No sugar, you know, no this, no that. Respect that. Don't say, oh, they'll never know. They'll know. And that may be the last time you get the grandkids. Respect what they're saying. When you were raising your kids, you wanted your word to be respected. Respect theirs. Respect their boundaries. If they say, we don't like this, uh, you know, that's okay. It's their child. Respect the boundary. I know families that the grandparents really have a tough time with boundaries. When the child left for college, they felt this huge void in their life. And then the child got married and the void got bigger. And now there's grandkids. And it's like, ooh, I can fill that void in my life with my grandkids. I'm going to spend every day of the rest of my life with my grandkids doing all kinds of stuff. I'll pull them out of school. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Stop. Let the parent raise the child. Know your place. Just stop over-involving yourself in other people's lives. I hear this so often from parents. My, you know, that their parents, my parents, you know, they don't respect boundaries. They don't listen to anything we say. They show up unannounced. Please, you're causing more problems and it's going to bite you in the ass. Yes, grandparents have rights, but so do the parents. And their rights supersede yours. It's what's in the best interest of the child. And just because you raised a family and you feel you raised a successful family, maybe the kids don't see it that way. Let them raise their child their way. Be there for them. Support them. Don't second guess. Never, ever say anything critical about your kids in front of the grandkids, ever. Say positive things, uplifting things, encouraging things. Don't be hateful and spiteful. Don't throw tantrums in front of the grandkids. Don't say things to the grandkids about the parents. Your mom's this, your dad's that. Don't do it. Even if they're divorced, don't do it. That child is made up of these two individuals. They're going to take that personally. They're going to think, well, if they don't like my mom or my dad, maybe they really don't like me. Because everybody says I'm like them. And so maybe you know, they're going to start questioning themselves. Don't do this to a child. Learn your place. Know your boundaries. Respect your child, your adult child for who they are. 
please. I see this all the time. I hear the complaints from the grandparents too, that so often parents will say, we wanna go out, here, watch the kids, and they'll go. If that's not what you like, I mean, you love your grandkids, but you have your own plans, tell them. I'm sorry, but next time you need to find a sitter. Because just because we're grandparents doesn't mean we're perma-sitters. You need to get a sitter. You know, find a high school child, whatever. You need to find somebody else. It's okay to say that. Don't let your kids steamroll you into babysitting or raising their child. If you're grown up enough to have a baby, then you're going to have to be grown up enough to raise that child. When you have a child, that child comes first. Your friends, your social life, going out with the girls, going out with the guys, going away for a weekend, you know, to concerts or whatever with your friends, that's over until that child is 18 and off to college. That child is your first priority, no matter what. I don't care if that hurts your feelings. I don't care if you think it's unfair. You should have thought of that before you had a baby. That child comes first. Their emotional, physical, mental welfare is your top priority. And you never make them feel bad about that. Never tell your child, I'm disappointed in you. You can say, I'm disappointed in your behavior. I'm disappointed in your attitude. But never tell your child you're disappointed in them. I don't care if they're five or they're 50. Never tell them you're disappointed in them. There are times you may not really like them, but you love them, and that's okay. Be there for your child.